Hello everyone, quick video update. This goes out to my patrons on Patreon and all my subscribers and everybody watching on YouTube. Thank you very much for your support, it's been fantastic. Really appreciating everything that people are doing to support my channel and to support my brand new Patreon page. I've got a couple of projects lined up that I'm looking to do. A good friend has given me a pretty cool idea I'm going to follow through on that and I'm going to try a couple of different things that aren't bowls. That said, I have some more resin. And it's mailbag time. How could I forget? Box came today. A new resin to try. So this is West System. It's one of the more expensive two-part epoxy resins. Um, I'm gathering it's probably very similar to the solid cast and hopefully uh, a level above the diggers resin. So that's going to be interesting to try. And I, I bought the West System 207 Special Clear Hardener because I'm hoping to do some, some resin work with embedded objects. Maybe some pencils, maybe some pencils, maybe something else. I've got an idea, just waiting on them to arrive. I'm not sure how useful these will be, but I bought some little cheap measuring things just so I can be a little bit uh, more precise. Um, these are quite cheap at Adelaide Moulding and Casting, so I got those from there. Okay, I've also got a new die. This one's a liquid die, it's orange. Mandarin, and it's a transparent dye for use with urethane, epoxy, and polyester resin. Hopefully, I will not destroy a casting the way I did with the other dye. And yeah, I'm looking forward to using this color. I'll gradually buy some more colors. They're quite expensive, but I can see by the quantity here they will last a long time. So, good investment. And lastly, in my grab bag, is some more digital scales. I haven't been too happy with how well the previous set of scales were actually working, so these ones, these were a pretty good deal. So if these are good scales for the purpose, then they're a bargain price, actually. Um, again, Adelaide Moulding and Casting is where I bought these from. I I've done a little bit of business with them in the past, but I haven't bought a lot of stuff from them. So, the prices for things like the scales and the measuring cups are excellent. I'm not so sure, I haven't done too many comparisons with the prices of the resins, but they seem to be pretty much on par with what you find on eBay and other sources. That's it! Nothing more in the mailbag today. Hopefully some stickers will rock up soon. I'll be able to send those out to people who have backed me on my Patreon page. If you haven't seen my Patreon page, head on over there. That's patreon.com forward slash TGL. And support me, even if it's only just a little bit. Every little bit is going to count and will enable me to buy some more cool stuff for the, for the lathe and some better equipment for these videos. I've got a couple of cool new things in the shop this week too. So I have a compressor, thanks to my dad for that. He's had a compressor sitting around at his shack and thought that I could use it. So I've got that now. It's actually made a bit of a difference to how I'm working. I'm able to clean up some of the dust as I go. And so that's been great. And yeah, uh, what else have I got? A chainsaw. I have an electric chainsaw, which is gonna facilitate some of the um, bowl making that I want to do. I've got a couple of logs here that need to be trimmed down a bit, so the chainsaw is going to be fantastic for that. Also, I've ordered some stickers, and I've put some sticker designs up on my Patreon page, so if people want to support me and they want a sticker, they'll be coming. I have a couple more videos coming up. I've been editing, preparing some of the time lapses I've done previously, and catching up on that backlog so they're going to be going up on YouTube 
previews on Patreon first. I'm going to try and get some more cameras so that I can do more interesting edits and different camera angles for you so that you can see more of what I'm actually doing while I'm turning. Make the videos a little bit less of a you know, sequence of jump cuts. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying what I'm doing with the channel. Keep on watching, keep on turning, and stay tuned for the next fun-filled instalment. Thank you very much, and keep on turning.